some circumstances led me to the business. I, when I got back from Korea, uh, they stationed me in uh, Topeka, Kansas, and uh, being a pilot, I wanted to fly, and they wouldn't. They had a general that said, you know, until you get out, you can't fly that much. So they made put me in charge of a personal affairs office. Unfortunately, we had some crashes, and uh, my responsibility was to take care of the families. And I found very quickly that the families were in dire straits because the GI insurance was not much, and they owned very little life insurance. And uh, that's what really brought me to the business. Well, I don't think you can grow in life unless you have continued education. And that doesn't matter whether you're, well, I was 23 when I came in the business and now I'm plus 80. And I, I think you have to keep on learning. But secondly, you, you, you're not responsible in going out and calling on people and helping with them, with their financial affairs especially, unless you have the adequate amount of information and education and tools to be able to help them solve their problems. And I want to continue to be active in the industry and with the American College and, and Gamma and NAFA and all the other organizations that I'm ALU that I'm involved in because I want to continue to make a contribution because uh, it's always been this way but today I think we're going through a period in our country and in our industry where each of us has to take a lot of responsibility to make our industry better than, uh, than we found it.